What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your second stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Friday, December the 11th. Hello everyone and happy Friday. Today we are going to discuss the latest regarding the stimulus package and those $600 stimulus checks that's included in the bill. Don't nobody want no $600 stimulus checks, you know what I'm saying? We want larger stimulus checks for the American people and there is one person that introduced a bill to do just that. As the latest jobless claim numbers increased last week, we have the latest updates on the unemployment insurance and we have the new Biden administration being pressured to help Americans out with more than $50,000 in student loan debt. And I also have three offers I want to share with you, so be sure to watch the video until the end. Those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today, but before we get started, be sure to like this video if you like this type of content. It definitely helps out a lot as it takes a lot of time to research all of this information and to provide a scaled down version to share with you guys. Also, if you want to be a part of this community, we would love to have you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Hey everyone, and we were hoping to get some good news today regarding whether Congress was able to agree on a stimulus package. Congress continues to negotiate the terms and the wording around the next stimulus package. Right now, majority of the support is on the newly bipartisan bill that was created by lawmakers from the House and the Senate. Unfortunately, that bill does not include stimulus checks. Democrats actually supported this bill even though there were no stimulus checks because their focus was to keep the unemployment insurance and to provide retroactive pay for Americans who have been affected by the pandemic. As the U.S. reported an increase in jobless claims on yesterday, we can obviously see that the jobless numbers are set to increase over the next few weeks. The weekly jobless claims increased by 853,000 last week versus 730,000 that was actually estimated. This was the highest number since September the 19th, and it shows the ongoing issues in the jobs market as well as the virus cases and deaths that continue to surge in the United States. More and more states are having lockdowns and restrictions to stop the spread of the virus, which means having unemployment insurance is crucial to be included in the next year stimulus package. The bipartisan bill wants to offer payments of $300 per week and pay up to 18 weeks of retroactive payments. But on the other hand, the stimulus proposal from the White House excluded unemployment extension but in included $600 stimulus checks. I know majority of you agree with me when I say we don't want no dang $600 stimulus checks. We want larger stimulus checks for the American people. I mean, they deserve it, right? They have been waiting for over nine months for Congress to decide to do their jobs and get a bill passed and they are still waiting on just that. Larger stimulus checks are really the big topic right now as the White House offered $600 stimulus checks for households and $600 checks for each child. In fact, a Republican senator from Missouri unveils a plan for second $1,200 stimulus checks. Senator Haley is a young senator and he is breaking away from the Republican colleagues by introducing a bill on Thursday to provide a second round of $1,200 stimulus checks. As Congress struggles to reach a deal, Holly has reiterated that Americans need direct payments now. Families are struggling, unemployment claims are rising, and food lines are just growing. Holly has continued to threaten his demands on a vote on his bill if Congress doesn't pass a relief bill with direct payments by next week. Holly has met with President Trump multiple times, urging him to veto any stimulus package that doesn't include $1,200 stimulus payments. In his new bill, the proposal mirrors the stimulus checks that were included in the CARES Act, which would provide one-time cash payments of $1,200 to individuals who make under $75,000 per year and $2,400 to couples who make under $150,000 per year, plus the $500 for non-dependent children. His push for larger stimulus checks is not alone. A group of six other progressive senators, including Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, sent a letter to colleagues on Tuesday demanding direct payments as part of the next stimulus relief bill. In the letter, they are urging colleagues to join them in the fight for $1,200 direct payments to adults and $500 to their children. 
In the letter, it reads, we very much appreciate the hard work that has gone into the current $908 billion proposal, being drafted by a number of Democratic and Republican senators. But simply stated, given the horrific extent of the current crisis and the desperation that working families all over this country are experiencing, this proposal does not go anywhere near far enough. The letter hopes to add pressure into the bipartisan negotiations on adding direct payments to the American people. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is still not on board with this larger stimulus package and or the stimulus checks, but it appears that he is actually coming around to the idea. But we will just have to wait and see on how all of this plays out in the meantime. In other news, President-elect Joe Biden is scheduled to be sworn in on January the 20th, and he is already receiving pressure for those who are drowning in student loan debt. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is pushing Biden to bypass Congress and cancel up to $50,000 in student loan debt during his first day in office. On Thursday, Schumer called on the president-elect to cancel billions of dollars in student loan debt during his first day in office on January the 20th. Senator Schumer said that we have come to the conclusion that president-elect Biden can undo this debt, can forgive $50,000 of debt the first day he becomes president. Schumer said on Monday, speaking to reporters outside of his Manhattan office, you don't need Congress. All you need is the flick of a pen. Now, Biden has agreed to this type of money being wiped away yet, but Biden already has a student debt relief plan in the works. Biden's plan is to cancel $10,000 of student loan debt, double Pell Grants, and to offer free public education to people earning less than $125,000 per year. Schumer estimated his proposal to provide a total forgiveness to more than 75% of borrowers and partial forgiveness for more than 95%. So for those of you out there that still have this student loan debt, this is good news to hear for when Joe Biden gets into the White House. Of course, I can see him having trouble pushing this through the Senate. We all know the Senate doesn't want anyone to help the American people. They only want to help billionaires and to bail out large businesses. And that's not an opinion. That is a fact. I'm just saying, guys. But if you don't believe me, Bernie Sanders said something similar to that on Wednesday. Bernie said, it sure is funny in Washington. We go to war, there is endless amounts of money. Tax breaks for billionaires, there is endless amounts of money. Corporate welfare, endless amounts of money. But when children are going hungry in America, we don't have any money. This is crap, he said. That is just wrong. Now, experts have said that Biden's ability to follow through on his agenda will be very limited if the GOP retains control of the Senate. As Georgia has their runoff races in January, Democrats need to win both races to secure a 50-50 tie. That way, it will be much easier for Biden and the administration to get things done while in the White House. And other than that, this has been your second Stimulus Check Update news for today. Also guys, don't forget about the free Amazon Prime membership for 30 days that you can enjoy those free movies over the holidays and you can get free shipping on items so that you can avoid going to the store. And if you receive any type of governmental assistance programs, you can get a discounted rate of Amazon Prime for just $5.99 per month instead of the normal $12.99 per month. Both links for those will be in the description for you to go ahead and check those out if you are interested. Also, if you want an opportunity to get two free stocks worth up to $1,600, all you have to do is download the Webull Investing app using the link down below. Then deposit $100 into your account. Then you will receive two free stocks valued between $8 and $1,600. Then once you receive those free stocks, you can withdraw your $100 back into your account. Account. This is totally risk free and you could be the lucky winner to get either a Tesla stock or an Apple stock or something even worth up to $1,600. Okay, okay, that's all I have for you today. If you found any value in this video, be sure to press the like button for me as it really helps out the channel. Also, if you want to become a part of this community, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.